Welcome back to my corner of the internet. We're in the studio again and today I have a review for you from Kent Craft Distributors. Kent, is, Kent Craft Distributors is actually a West Australian owned and operated company and today I am reviewing the Amagrumi yarn range plus some hook range. The Amagrumi yarn is made in Turkey. It is recycled cotton but it's been done to Kent specifications in colours and ply and lengths and the weight in the ball. We'll get into them in a minute. Uh, there are also some of the hooks. Uh, I've got some plastic hooks. I've got some ergonomic hooks. And I've also got a set of their ones with the specialised play handles. A couple of little notions, but... A nice range just to let you know about what they have and all about the company. Uh, I will be putting a link in the description so that you can have a look at their website because there is another set of hooks on the website which has got wooden handles which some people may prefer. There's also other yarns available and there's also a complete stockist list, a current stockist list so you can find out who actually has this or you can order from the website yourself. Either way works. So we will get into the review. Here we are. This is the colorways that I have been sent in this yarn range. This is the Amagrumi yarns. We have a nice bright white. We have like a saffron yellow, a soft pink, and like, um, like a pillbox red, a sky blue, a black, and a dark purple. The I'll get one of the labels so we can have a look. So first of all, this is the name of the company. It's it's said Kint. It's K-I-N-D-T, but the D is a stealth D. You don't say it. Uh, this is Amagrumi yarn. There is 100 gram in each ball, and approximately 180 metres. It is said on the label that it's 80% cotton and 20% other fibres. As I said earlier, it is recycled cotton, so they need to put an average amount of other fibres are in it because it's recycled. It says not to dry clean it, not to iron it, but hand washing is okay. Uh, what else can we say? It's made in Turkey, but it's also to their specification of the size of the balls and the colourways. I'll put that aside. Now, this ball here is the one that I did my test with and I made this little dude here. He hasn't got a name yet. If anyone's got a suggestion for a name for him, that would be great. Please put it in the comments down below. I made this, this little guy from this one ball of the yarn and I still have about a third of it left. You know, that's solid there. It's not, I can't see through it. So we've got quite a bit left. It's, it's a single ply yarn. I might pick up a light one so you can see this better. It's a single ply yarn. And what that means is that all the strands are wound together to make one yarn, whereas other yarns will have three to four twisted and then they'll twist those together again. It does cut down a little bit on your splitting. It is not mercerized, so you don't have the mercerizing chemicals and treatments on it, which is good. It, as I said before, it's got a nice matte finish, which is great if you're trying to photograph what you've made. It does reflect sometimes and cause problems. It's nice feel. It's, it's nice and soft. I made my little guy with a three three and a half mil hook. He is a bit squashy. So if you're wanting to do amagrumi, I would drop down to a two and a half or even a three, depending on how tight a crocheter you are. On the label, it does give you a gauge. Here it is. With four millimeter knitting needles, you can do your 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter square with 22 stitches and 28 rows. So that's for knitting. As I said, I used a three and a half to make him. If you're making toys, you're going down a couple of sizes anyway, depending on how soft you want it. Uh, it packs rather well, like the hands and that. I mean, I didn't put any packing in the arms because I wanted them floppy. So that was good and I had no problems using it. The colour was consistent all the way through the ball. No joins, nothing. So that's great. 
let's move them out of the way and we'll look at the hooks I got a couple out of the packets because I noticed on the replay that the plastic was really reflecting so we'll, I'll show you the packets in a minute so starting with the hooks we have these thick ones which quite good they're hard to find this thick and they're nice and long too I hate having a thick crochet hook with a short handle they are made of two different polymer plastics this one is a TPR which is thermoplastic rubber and then this one is ABS which is a, a polymer I'm not going to say what ABS means because I'm going to say it wrong you can look it up it's fine this hook though has the resilience and withstands the same amount of heat and cold as stainless steel I can't I can't put a bend in it it doesn't move at all there is a little bit of bend in the handle but not much it has thumb grip on both sides which is very handy when you're using thick yarns like t-shirt yarns or rug yarns the size is written very clearly on the end of the handle it's not in the American letter sizings but they're easy enough to look up um, very lightweight it's not heavy which is great especially when the yarns heavy as well uh, so this is this is the wrapper I took it out of the plastic <laughs> so yeah quite good and I think there's about three to four sizes in those so that's nice and then we've got the ergonomic hooks I'll get one of their wrappers too so the handle is the the polymer therm, thermoplastic polymer my cat decided to bite this one and she didn't get through so that's handy the size has been heat printed into the handle so it's not going to rub off with use it has the thumb thumbs rest on both sides which is great you know for pen hold and for knife hold the point on the hook is quite good very deep throat and long shank and where the handle meets the shank has been tapered and it's a little bit rounded so you're not going to end up with a blister from it that's what's good about these big plastic ones too is that there's it's smooth from hook to handle you haven't got a great big bump hurting you the handle of them the hook themselves goes all the way up right to the end can you see the little bend at the end that's where the metal finishes so I don't think there's any danger of these falling out I've had that with other hooks too there is from size two millimeter up to 10 millimeter in these hooks and then like I said there's three to four sizes of those now I'm just going to show you this quickly I don't want it to reflect too much this is the clay handle set I'll just take one out and then move the package away so it doesn't reflect there are eight in that packet and I will show you once again the hook is the aluminium this one looks like it's been adenized a nice copper color but that's cool it has a bit more of a blunt tip to it than the ergonomic but I've used the three and a half and the five in these and they work fine just get that out of the way the size has been printed on the handle can you see that yes you can this one also has the letter sizing which is good it only has the thumb rest on one side so you know I would have liked it on both sides but that's the way it is the join has been tapered back to the hook so you're not going to get that horrible ridge that you sometimes get very light very nice and light the the feel of this is very smooth um, it is a polymer clay with the design is printed on the surface like a decal so that's nice I haven't used it long enough to know how long it'll last but I've got the feeling it'll last quite a while which is good uh, like I said very light very nice to use the other things that I have also is they have wool needles in three sizes you actually get this as a set which is great because you sometimes need to sew up stuff with very thick yarn and also the very thin I had another pack of these this is why this one hasn't been taken out and no burrs on the tips good to use and they didn't tarnish up some some 
wool needles are made of an alloy and they do tarnish up rather quickly which is good and they have these little needle threaders i don't know if you remember the old-fashioned ones with the the little tin cameo on here these ones it's been fused plastic so i don't think they're going to pull out very quickly and that is the lot of my haul from kint yarn distributors please check in the description box for their link to their site and a current list of their stockists so you can find out where you can get this yarn and hooks and notions and lots of other stuff they do have more on the website you can also order through the website yourself just have a look as i said the link is in the description and thank you again to kin, kin yarn distributors not yarn distributors it's only because i like yarn. they are craft distributors they have more than just yarn and i hope you found this review helpful and i will see you on the next one Bye.